Since 3D printing first appeared on the market, I have been using this technology to manufacture parts for my engines. Initially, mainly accessories, but with the appearance of high-performance technical filaments, increasingly also highly stressed functional parts directly on the engine. I generate our own electricity and heat using self-produced biogas with my homemade engines to support the solar plant during periods of low sunshine. My conventional Stirling engines are powerful enough, but unfortunately they are too complex, require a lot of maintenance and are therefore too expensive. My goal is to develop an engine that can be rebuilt by anyone at low cost as some kind of an open source project without the need for expensive machinery. 3D printing technology is ideal for the rapid development and cost-effective production of innovative engine components. Thanks to the development of high-performance technical printing materials and printers with high nozzle temperatures, I now use 3D printed parts for all components except those in the heater's high temperature range. The strength of modern, often fiber reinforced printing materials is truly impressive. I have optimized my workflow with various materials so that I can quickly and reliably produce functional components with relatively thin wall thicknesses and a compressive strength of up to 12 bar or 175 psi. From the sketch to the 3D model and the slicing to 3D printing, it's only a short step and in most cases you can produce a high quality, inexpensive component within an evening. Conventional component manufacturing is complex, expensive and not everyone has the necessary machinery for it. With 3D printing, it would be possible for anyone to print the necessary parts themselves or have them printed at low cost. The design developed here would be freely available to everyone as a kind of open source. Components exposed to high temperatures could be made by a contract manufacturer using metal or ceramic 3D printing or conventional methods. Professional companies have already offered to manufacture a printed stainless steel heater for the cost of a test video. But first, I want to be sure which is the best design for the heater and, for example, integrate the burner inside. The new concept of the thermoacoustic Stirling engine has far less moving parts and is very well suited for the use of 3D printed parts. The generated power is still low, but with every improvement I am getting closer to the long-term goal of reasonable electricity production. There are still many problems to solve and many improvements to make. The thermoacoustic gas cycle itself has not yet been optimized. The heat exchangers are still provisional and I am still experimenting with turbines, linear generators and rotary generators for the type of energy conversion. Pressure charging and the use of helium as a working gas would then be the next steps in the quest for more power. I need all the support I can get for this project, whether that's suggestions and help in the commands or any other knowledge or talents you can offer. I have now also set up a Patreon account. If you would like to support me, this is the best way to do so. Every contribution from you is very motivating. The more support I receive on Patreon or channel memberships, the more time I can invest in the open source Sterling project. For me, working on the Sterling engine is just a hobby and sometimes a useful improvement simply fails because of the cost. Your support through Patreon or a channel membership could speed up and improve development. I invest every cent I get into the project. As always, I welcome criticism, suggestions and help in the comments here on YouTube or on Discord. Thank you very much for your interest.